I do believe that the God that we serve is mighty. Amen. And I know that he has all power in his hands. He's able to defend, but he also, he's able to destroy, but he's always also able to defend. We love to defend the part of that. Amen. For he comes to our rescue when we find ourselves in need of help that we cannot find anywhere in this world. God is able to do that. We call your attention this morning to the book of Hebrews chapter number 12. Again, we call your attention to the book of Hebrews chapter 12, and we will lift in your hearing verses one, two, and three. And it reads as follows, Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight yes, and the sin which doth so easily beset us. Mm -hmm. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For considering him that endureth such contradiction mm -hmm. of sinners against himself, lest ye be weary and think in your mind. You read in your hearing from the book of Hebrews chapter 12, the first three verses. At this time we ask that you would join with us in a word of prayer. This morning, if you know someone who just needs you to mention them before the throne of the Lord, meditate on those names or those individuals this morning. I want to share that my neighbor came yesterday and asked me to remember her in prayer. That's uh, Sister Sharp. Well, she lived next door to me. And she didn't come to me because she felt that I had the power, before, but I feel like she knew that there is a man yes, whose name is Jesus has the power to take care of her as she goes into the hospital. So we want to mention her have in-laws that also need to be lifted up in prayer. And without going through the list, I'm sure you know that we have many this morning that we can lift up. Yes. We have bereavement in our church, sister, church family, and we want to remember them in prayer as well. Let us pray. Almighty God, our gracious Savior, we come again this morning, head bowed and knee bent. Mm -hmm. We come, O oh God, looking for mercy where mercy can be found. Yes, yes. Please, Heavenly Father, where it has been called for before and will need to be called for again. Mm -hmm. God, we ask this morning that you would just look upon your people. Mm -hmm. yes, Lord, we ask your divine blessing upon the senior members of our society. Well, we ask your blessing upon the adult and Lord forget not our young people yes, Lord. Lord who are trying to understand what's going on in our world mm -hmm. try to decide Lord how they're going to educate themselves but oh God we believe if we look up to the hills from which cometh our help yes. well, realize that all of our help comes from thee and yes, from you. thee alone Yes, sir. So, Lord, we cry out this morning, have mercy yes. upon us. Mm -hmm. Bless us, O oh God, with the blessing you see that we stand in need of. Yes, yes. Bless us, God, collectively, yes. and bless us individually. Bless this church family for a 147 years' journey. Well, and, O oh God, we are still journeying on. Many of soldiers have entered through these doors and have gone on to a place where travelers have been known to go. Never to return again. Lord, we believe that they are looking up down upon us as we make our pilgrim pilgrimage yes. from the earth all the way to heaven. Well. Bless us, Lord, that we will stay in the right path. Yes. Bless, O oh God, that we live so that you will smile upon us when we need you to look upon us. Not just us, Lord, but bless our entire family. Yes. Well. For we know, Lord, that some glad morning. Yes, sir. When this life is over, well, we must fly away. Yes. 
Oh God, we desire to live so that when Jesus shall come, yes, sir. when we shall meet him in the bar in the sky, yes. that he will say to us, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Yes, sir. He'll offer us, oh God, to come on up higher. Yes. For he recognized that we have been faithful over a few things. Yes, sir. And he will make us rule over many. This and all other blessings we ask this morning in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. And amen. amen. song. Thank you for the chance. Those of you this morning who joined in the word of prayer and thought about someone else, we ask God blessing upon you as well. Mm -hmm. At this time, we're going to pause and listen to the history of our church as read by our secretary. We ask at this time that you would give her your attention. And after the history, we ask our deacon Anthony Haywood to come and lead us in our anniversary prayer. Amen. In that order, please. The history of the Zion of Grove Baptist Church in the year of 1873, under the divine providence and 35 members, Zion of Grove Baptist Church was founded. Zion of Grove called this first pastor, Reverend J.M. Milliton, who served for 25 years, 1873 to 1898. Under his leadership, the church grew and prospered. Reverend Milliton baptized 48 candidates ordained four deacons, having found virtue in him, God called him from labor to rest. Upon the death of Reverend Milton, Reverend R.F. Rivers was called. He served for two years, 1898 to 1900. He also heard the voice, well done, thy good and faithful servant. The ram in the bush for Zion Grove was the Reverend S.C. E. Scriven. Reverend Scriven served for 12 years, 1900 to 1912. During his tenure, he baptized 46 candidates and ordained three deacons. Reverend Scriven heard the voice, thy faith have made thee free. It is written in the holy book that he will not leave us comfortless. He sent us Reverend P.H. Landon, who served for nine years, 1912 to 1921. He baptized 43 candidates and ordained three deacons. Having grown in goodness of God, he inspired his love and was gathered up with his loved ones. The Reverend J.E. Cummings was called to fill the void by our lost leader. He served for eight years, 1921 to 1929. He baptized 18 candidates and ordained two deacons. After being a servant, he heard the voice, Come ye that love the Lord. Mm. After laying our pastor to rest, we called the Reverend J.E. Lawton. He served for six years, 1929 to 1935. Having gained the experience of time and patience, he went to greater things. God promised that he would never leave us alone. He sent Reverend Y.D. DeCosta, who served for nine years, 1950, 1944 to 1950, 
Reverend DeCosta baptized 19 candidates, ordained four deacons, and licensed two preachers. Reverend DeCosta was signed Moses and Reverend P.J. Scott was his errand. He stepped into his father's shoes like a true son. He served for nine years, 1944 to 1953. He baptized 18 candidates, ordained four deacons and one preacher. He served notice that it was time to be about his father's business. Being the son of our son, Reverend Henry L. Bowling was called to fill the vacancy left by his father. He served for five years, 1953 to 1958. During his tenure, he baptized seven candidates and ordained two deacons, and then he heard the voice, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few. Come on up, and I will make thee rule of many. Yeah. The church grew step by step under each succeeding minister. Seeing the spirit of Zion of Grove Baptist Church as a struggle to climb upward, God sent the Reverend A. O. Mitchell to serve for 11 years, 1958 to 1966. Reverend Mitchell baptized 17 candidates all day and two deacons and licensed one preacher. Under Reverend Mitchell's leadership, we started a building program that he did not see completed because he was called from labor unto reward. To carry out the unfinished task of Reverend Mitchell, we called Reverend Alonzo Austin in October of 1966. The building program started by Reverend Mitchell did not stop with his passing. Reverend Austin picked up where Reverend Mitchell left off and carried on. Amen. You can see the accomplishment that have been inspired under Reverend Austin. Reverend Austin baptized 103 candidates, ordained five deacons, and licensed two ministers, Reverend H.L. Jones and Reverend Harold Gardner Sr. In 1997, Reverend Gardner became the assistant pastor of the Zion Book Baptist Church. He served faithful until his health began to fail. In 2000, God called Reverend Harold Gardner Sr. home to rest. In January of 2001, Reverend Ferguson was asked to serve as the assistant pastor. After serving for 39 years, 1966 to 2005, the Lord called Reverend Alonzo Austin home from labor unto reward. Upon the home going of Pastor Austin in March of 2005, the church came together in sincere prayer asking God to show us the way. According to Hebrews 11th chapter, 12th verse, God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. In seeking God wisdom, in October 2005, the church asked Reverend Cardell Ferguson, senior to lead the flock. Reverend Ferguson, Reverend Ferguson accepted the call. In such a short time, Reverend Ferguson led us to higher heights. So in December 2005, the church ordained Reverend Ferguson as pastor of the Zion Oak Road Baptist Church. Reverend Ferguson picked up where Reverend Austin left off with the renovations and other improvement to the church. Reverend Ferguson has baptized many candidates and continued to baptize new candidates. In 2007, Reverend Ferguson ordained one minister, Reverend Johnny Rivers. In 2008, he baptized brother Benjamin Mitchell in 2018, he baptized Sister Joyce Hebert. In 2018, Sister Joyce Hebert joined our church on Christian experience. Mm. Reverend Ferguson also started a youth ministry, instituted a weekly Bible study program. In 2018, Reverend Ferguson asked that we start having a mini pageant here at the church to benefit the Sunday School Convention. Reverend Ferguson said if we would just trust God <clears throat> and Him, the sky would be the limit. He said on a regular basis, this church has a lot of potential. It is no reason why we can't succeed. We thank God for answering our prayers and sending us such a dedicated and faithful leader. The official board and members join the pastor in extending to all of you an open invitation to not only join us on anniversaries, but to all services and activity at our church. We invite you to worship with us on first, third, and fifth Sundays of every month. Our deceased members are Brother Johnny Swinnon, who was an usher from 2013, Deacon Harvey Swinnon, who's the sister chairman, Deacon 2017, Sister Marie Camp, who was an usher, 2017, Miss Sister Georgia Jones, the mother of the church, 2017, Sister Angela Haver, the member, 2017, Brother Earl Swinton, member, 2018, Sister Vicki Williams, member, 2019, Sister Adrian Carl, member, 2019, Sister Clara Hunt, 
2019 and Brother Nicholas Jones 2020. We now, we now, we know they are somewhere around God's throne looking down on us as we strive to do God's will. It is the desire of our pastor and this church to supply spiritual guidance and leadership to this community and that the atmosphere of services exemplify to the world at large that God is truly welcome in this, his house. We ask that you remember our church motto, Christianity is given, given first ourselves, secondly, given of our means, and having given of these, give love. Thank you for joining us on our 147th church anniversary. May God continue to bless all of you. Reverend Carlyle Ferguson, Senior Pastor, Deacon William Singleton, Jr., Chairman Deacon, Sister Rosemary Washington, Secretary. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 I heard the voice of Jesus say, Yes. Come on to me and rest. Yeah, Lord. Lay down, thou weary one, lay down thy head upon my breast. Shut it up. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come this hour of the day with bowed head and humble heart. Yes, Lord. But most of all, my master, we come with our head bowed down in the left of our shoulders. Yes. But Lord, we come just to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Dear God, before we attempt to go any further in prayer, we want to thank you for your son, Jesus. Yes. Who gave his life. Yes. Your son gave his life that we all we have the right for the tree of life. Yes. Lord, we still thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Lord. Then, my master, we thank you. Uh, for a uh, hundred and forty seven years. Yeah. Lord, do patriot that who been here and build on this foundation. Uh, Lord, we are still building uh, and trying to do what you require us to do. Uh, now, Lord, we thank you. Uh, but most of all, my Father, we thank you for. Uh, your man servant uh, who uh oh lord who telling us uh, that the ways of sin is death uh, and the gift of god is eternal life yeah, lord. Uh, lord we thank you yeah, yeah. Uh, we want you dear to please sir uh, my master uh, to cover Zion under your precious blood yeah, uh, lord. lord i know you can i know you will when you yeah, get ready yeah, lord. Uh, oh lord uh, we realize that we know what's going on in the world, my father. But one thing that we must realize that we must keep our focus and our eyes and our mind and our heart on Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yes. Knowing, my father, that you will deliver and Lord, you will destroy. Yeah. We don't ask you, dear God, to fix anything, my father. Yes, because if you fix it, oh Lord, it'll come upon us again. But we ask you to destroy my father and cast it in the sea of forgiveness. Oh Lord, that it will not rise upon us in days and months and years to come. Yeah. Now Lord, we thank you. And then my master, oh Lord, when it's all over Jesus, when we got to quit the busy walk of life, oh Lord, we pray my father that you would be somewhere I said, you be somewhere yeah. listening for our name. Uh, yeah. Oh, Lord, that we will say, uh, well done. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. That good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Now come on up high and I'll make you ruler yes. over many. These all the blessed we will ask. Yeah, Lord. In the name of the Father and in the name of the Son. To thy servant prayer. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, my father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Bless you, Lord. We thank yes. you. Thank you. For the blessings we've already received this morning by way of song, reading our scripture by way of prayer. 
truly the Lord inhabits our worship. Amen. Yes. yes. So we praise him and we cast all of our cares upon him. Yes. We understand that he cares for us. Yeah. We believe that he knows. He knows what's best for us and i believe that our god knows what we are going through yes, yes. this morning amen mm -hmm. and if we will do our part if we do our part i feel assured that god yes he will. will do what he has promised us that he would do yes so this morning if you're calling upon him and you feel as though the lord is not hearing your call it's not on the lord's side it's on our side yes so we need to look and make some adjustments so the blessing that we are expecting from our god yes, yes will surely find us and move us from where we are at this time we're going to turn again to the choir to lift us up and after the choir we'll come back to your front with a message from the lord yes as we continue our service please be blessed yes. as we move forward Choir. causes our golden moments yes. to continue to roll on. Mm -hmm. But you know after a while he gets enough. Well, and somebody has to answer. Yes. We have to answer for yeah, the deeds that have done in our lives. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Yes. But he wants to bless us so let us live so that he can do the thing that he wants to do for us. Yeah. And that is to just shower us down with his blessing. Amen. Yeah, amen. Amen. We going to move forward. Before we move, we want to just let you know that we are not here 
standing our, under our own power. Yeah. You're standing here because God, our Father, Jesus Christ, standing. His Son, Holy Spirit, our Keeper and our Guide, has yeah. empowered yeah. us to be able to stand here at this hour and to share a word of the Lord with yeah. the Lord's yeah. people. We ask of you your prayers, especially in the next few moments, yeah. as we convey to you what the Lord has given to us yeah. on this 147th yes, yes. anniversary. Amen. Long time journey. Yes, yes. Many are ups and downs. Yes, sir. But God has been with his people and we're able to stand on the foundation that was yes. built yes, sir. here so many years ago to serve this community. Wow. So we thank the Lord for, for those things. Our scripture that we read this morning came from the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. Allow me, for time's sake, only to read and you're hearing again just one verse, and that would be the first verse, and we will give you a thought or subject from that verse, and then we will be on, on our way. Mm -hmm. Verse 1, Hebrew 12 and 1 says, Wherefore, Seeing we are compassed about, mm -hmm. surrounded, about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. Mm -hmm. And here's the part that all of us play a part. And let us run mm -hmm. with patience the race mm -hmm. that is set before us. Yeah. Amen. Amen. From that verse, we wish to speak to you from a thought. I believe we can make it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I believe we can make it. How do you feel this morning? How do you yes. believe? Yes, sir. Do you believe that with God on your side, oh, yeah. that you can make it? Yes, yes. Yes. We had members, ancestors that started out. 147 years ago. Yes, yes. Things back then was much different mm -hmm. than they are today, but they had faith enough to come together yeah. and establish and mark out a place where they can cry out to their God yes. in spite of their circumstances. Yes. And I believe this morning that God heard their cry. Yes, yes. And blessed them. And not only that, He continued to bless until we are here yes. sharing in that blessing that they started out mm -hmm. so many years ago. When I did the, did the math and uh, try to figure out what year it was in our history, in our country's history, when Zion Oak Grove got established, it took me back to, I believe, 1873. I wanted to have some sense, or if, even if a small eclipse of what was going on at the time. Mm. And you know, I found that in 1872, there was an election year. But prior to that, the history of, uh, of our people, African-American -Ameri African -American stories, mm -hmm lies at the very heart of this country's heritage. From the first English settlement, African-American slaves provided the primary workforce. Mm -hmm. And by 1708, they formed a majority of the non-native population of the colony. Mm -hmm. By 1720, I believe that's 300 years ago. And look at the year, 1720. We are now in 2020. Yes. The black population in South Carolina was twice that of the white population. I think I need to say that again. Mm -hmm. I was astounded when I learned that. It said the black population in South Carolina was twice that of the white population in 1720. 
except for a period between 1790 and 1820, 200 years ago, African American made up the largest settlement, settlement of the population in South Carolina. I thought that was important. In by um, the 1820s, the African Americans made up the largest settlement of the population of South Carolina until 1922. It is believed that half of the of today's African American population in the United States has ties to South Carolina. Mm. You heard it? Yes, sir. It is believed that half of the day's African American population in the United States has ties to South Carolina. Mm. In the year 1872, uh, Ulysses S. Grant defeated Horace Greece. In that year, women's suffering was at the forefront. In defiance of the law, America suffered. Susan, Susan B. Anthony wrote for the first, voted for the first time on November 18th. She, is, she was served an arrest warrant and was subpoenaed into trial and was fined $100 for which it says she has never paid. In 1872, the Southern White all Southern, Southern whites organized the Ku Klux Klan, a terrorist group, to murder politically active blacks and intimidate, intimidate their supporters. President Grant used the forces, enforcement power derived from the 15th Amendment, which is the voter's right, engaged a vigorous campaign of federal prosecution to put the Ku Klux Klan down, and still we are hearing about them 300, 200 years later. They're still trying to oppress God's people. <laughs> the Apostle Paul here urges us uh, as much as he desired that we would comply with Romans 12 and 1. Wow. Mm -hmm. To lay aside every weight yes, sir. and the sin which does so easily beset us. Mm -hmm. Paul wants us to run with patience mm -hmm. the race that is set before us. No matter what we encounter, he is encouraging God's people to run with patience, yes. the race that is set before us. Yes, sir. The only duty consists of two parts. Mm. One of the duty is we must, uh, one must be preparatory, and the other to be perfect, protective. Well, we are preparatory means to lay aside every weight. Mm and the sin, every weight that is all in order affection and concern for the body and the concern for the present life and world. Wow. Unjustifiable care mm -hmm. for the present life. Unjustified care for the present life. This earth is not our own. Yes, sir. It's only going to last us for a while. Mm -hmm. Or the fondness for life. Well, I don't care what you got or how long you plan to live. One day sooner or later, we got to give up this one. Yeah. It's a dead weight upon our soul. Those things are, Paul considers them to be dead weight upon our soul. Mm -hmm. yes. It is weight that pulls our soul down when it should ascend our soul upward. Well, It is weight that pulls our soul back when it should press our soul forward. Mm -hmm. This unjustifiable care makes our duty and difficulty harder and heavier than they should be. Yes, sir. The sin that does 
so easy to set us, the sin that has the great, greatest advantage against us. By the circumstances we are in, mm -hmm. our constitution, our company, the damning sin of unbelief. Wow. The damning sin of unbelief. Mm -hmm. He wants us, let us lay it aside. Yes, sir. All external and internal hindrances yeah. and come to God mm -hmm. and run the race well. that is set before us. Mm -hmm. The race that we must run is not always on level ground. No stuff. Sometimes the race that we must run is uphill. Yes. yes. Sir. Other times we find things fairly easy. It would seem as though we are running downhill, but we must run yes. whatever the situation dictates. Yes. Yes. Perfecting says to run, and when we run, if we're going to perfect our running, we have to run with patience. Yes, we have to run uh, the race that is set before us. We can't run no other race than the, but the race that is in front of us, that God brings to us. Yes, sir. Somebody said that God does not put any more mm -hmm. on his people than they can bear. The apostle speaks of us, speak to us when he speaks of running, he speaks in the gymnastic style, mm -hmm. taken from the Olympics or some exercise. All Christians, don't be alone, all Christians have a race to run. Yes, sir. We have a race of service, mm -hmm. a race of suffering, wow. a course of activity, and, a, and of in our passive obedience. Mm -hmm. But whatever it is, yes, sir. we are called to run. run. Yeah. This race is set before us. It is marked out for us. Yes. The race is marked out for us. Yes, sir. Both by the word of God and the example of the faithful servant of God. We just heard our history and all those pastors and deacons before us. The race has been set out Zion, before us. Yes, yes, sir. That cloud of witnesses which with which we are compassed about. We are surrounded by, the, by those soldiers that started out uh, in 1873 and kept pressing their way forward. Yes, sir. And have, been, have gone to be with the Lord. They are now looking at us yes. and encouraging us to run on the race yes, because they had to run uh, the same race well, well. that we are running. Mm -hmm. It is set, it has set our by the proper limits and direction. Well, well. The mark they run to. Mm -hmm. And the prize they all ran for. Well. Set out before us also. Mm -hmm. The race must be run with patience and well, perseverance. There is need for patience to encounter the difficulties mm -hmm. that lies in our way. Well. And the need for perseverance to resist all temptation to turn aside or to cease or to stop, we must run yes. with patience. Yes. If getting to the prize mean march, then we must march. Well. If getting to the prize mean we must sit in, have some sit in, then our four runners knew that it was also necessary yes, sir. to sit in. Well. Our four runners know that if the race encountered, determined for us to be beaten in the streets, then that's what the race calls for. But we must run the race mm -hmm. with patience. Yeah. Well. Faith and patience are the conquering grace. Yes. Uh, faith and patience are the conquering grace. Yes. And therefore must always be cultivated and kept in a lively exercise. Mm -hmm. We strengthen our faith by Attending Sunday school. Mm -hmm. We strengthen our faith by attending Bible study. Mm -hmm. We strengthen our faith by attending worship or services. Yes, yes. Sir. And when our faith mm -hmm. is strengthened, I, I want to ask a question. Uh, you remember when our country was great. Well, well. But if I ask you that question, it implies that our country is not great. Mm -hmm. It implies that there are those who can take away our country's greatness. 
Yes, sir. It implies that there are those who can return the greatness of our country back to it. But I stop by to tell you, man cannot do what, what is left for God to do. Yes, sir. If God made our country great, all we got to do is live according to his will and his way. And we will have a great country, yes. the audacity mm -hmm. of any individual to think that they can re-add more greatness to God's country hmm. than God has placed there. Right. We didn't come to talk about that. Zion Oak Grove have a great list of examples to emulate. Mm -hmm. The name of our church history, a collection of 147 years of soldiers who marched through these aisles, who came to these doors, yes. who worshiped and praised the Lord, who cried and died on the journey, yes. on the journey mm -hmm. uh, home. Well. Somewhere, and sitting down and looking at us. Mm -hmm. History talks about Jay Middleton. Mm -hmm. Talks about Raven and Strivet. Well, well. History talks about Landon and Cumming. Yes, sir. The history mentions the path of Lawton. Yeah. History has as a witness looking upon us, mm -hmm. Y.D. Dakota. Yes. Church history also has some gains of mileage from P.J. Scott. Yes, sir. Our history tells us that we are surrounded by Reverend H.L. Bolden. Well. History tells me mm -hmm. that Alonzo Austin. Yeah. O.A. Mitchell. Yes, sir. They all mark out the race for us. To yes, sir. So we ought to run the race that is set out before us. Well, well. We must run the race that our forerunners yes, ran. Yes, Lord. And they have ran they have run their race. Mm -hmm. And now it is our time for to run. Yeah. And I stop by to tell you, mm -hmm. I believe we can make it. Yes. We must run with the sword in our hand. Yes, sir. We must run with the whole armor of God yeah. on us. Yeah. If we have a great, uh, we have a greater example. Well, well. Yeah, the pastors that are listed, mm -hmm. the names that are in the church's history. Yes. They left us great example yeah. of the race that we must run. Yes, yeah. sir. But I stop by to tell you, yeah. there is a greater example yeah. that we must follow. Well, well. The greater example is a man called Jesus. Yeah. Christians have a great example to emulate and encourage us in our Christian course. Well. Than all, than any, and all who have been mentioned before. Mm -hmm. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Jesus, when we run the race, mm -hmm. if we run the race looking yeah. unto Jesus, yes. who is the author mm -hmm. and the finisher of our faith. Yes. What our Lord Jesus is to his people. Well, well. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Yes, sir. He is the beginning. Yeah. In other words, he is Alpha. Yeah. And he is Omega. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes. And because of that, I believe we can. Mm -hmm. He is a perfecter. Yeah. And he is a rewarder of our faith. Yes, sir. And because of that, I believe we yeah. can. Mm -hmm. He is the author yeah. of my faith. Mm -hmm. I hope he's the author of your faith. Yes, sir. Not only the subject of my faith, yes. but he's the author of my faith. Yeah. And I believe I can. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, Jesus, Jesus is a great leader mm -hmm. and president of my faith. Yes. Yeah. And I hope that Jesus yeah. is a leader and a president of your faith. Yes, yes sir. Jesus trusted yeah. in God. Yes. And I pray that we are trusting in God. Yes, sir. Jesus is the purchaser. Mm -hmm. of the spirit of our faith. Yes. And I hope that he's the author mm -hmm. and the person of your faith. Yes. The efficient cause mm -hmm. of the grace of faith. Yes. And all of our respect, mm -hmm. the author of our of my faith. Yes. And I pray that he's the author of your faith as well. Yes. He is the finisher mm -hmm. of my faith. Yes, sir. He is the fuller mm -hmm. and the fulfilling of all the scripture promises mm -hmm. and all the prophecies that we've ever heard. Yes. He is the perf perfecter. Mm -hmm. 
of the kettles of scripture. Yes. And I'm talking about Jesus. Jesus. Talking about Mary's baby. Yes. He is the finisher of grace. Yes. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And of the work of faith mm -hmm. with power in our soul and for his people. Yes. He is the judge. Yes. He is the judge. Yes. That is Jesus yes. is the judge. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the rewarder yes. of our faith. Mm -hmm. When we run our race, yes, he determines yeah. who they are that reach yeah. the mark this morning. Mm -hmm. Jesus yeah. is the one who determines yeah. who, are, who they are that reach the mark. Mm -hmm. And from him, that is from Jesus, yeah. uh, in him, we will get our prize. Yes, I don't know what you're running for, uh -huh. but I'm running yeah. uh, that I might have a home in glory. Yes, sir. I'm running yeah. like the old soldier ran yeah. that someday they might be able to walk in Jerusalem yes. mm -hmm. just like a man called John. Yes. Are you running the race this morning? Yeah. Uh, let me encourage you to uh, get on the race, mm -hmm. get in the race and run. Uh, run the race to the end. Uh, yeah. Don't let anybody uh, sidetrack you. Yeah. Don't let anybody turn you off the race yeah. uh, that you made up your mind to run. Yeah. I may not have... Uh, what other folk may have. Yes, sir. I may not be uh, all that I hope to be, mm -hmm. but I thank God this morning yeah. uh, because of God's grace yes, and the race that I'm running in. Yeah. I may not be what I ought to be, yeah. but thank God I'm not what I used to be. In God all right. Uh, I can tell you yeah. uh, in my personal testimony this morning, uh, my formative years uh, yeah. in school was in a segregated school. Yeah. Uh, stop by to tell you, uh, there were no AC uh, in the school that I started out in. Uh, yeah. And very little heat uh, yeah. in the school uh, yeah. that I started in. Uh, yeah. But I had Jesus, uh, the author and finisher of my feet. Yes, uh, stop by to tell you, uh, yeah. I had to walk uh, yeah. to school uh, yeah. in the forward of years. Uh, but I had Jesus uh, to walk with me yeah. uh, and hold my hand yeah. uh, as I made my way down uh, yes. to the schoolhouse. Uh, I remember uh, in my formative years, yeah. uh, I wasn't afforded uh, the new books. Uh, I had to use the book uh, yeah. that somebody else has had. Uh, but Jesus, uh, yeah. my Lord and Savior, yeah. uh, he opened my yeah. mind uh, and caused me to understand uh, yeah. the things that I needed to understand. Uh, oh, young folk, uh, yeah. Going back to school, huh? the heels are hard to climb. Yeah. Huh? Seems uh, like there's danger huh? if you do, huh? and there's loss if you don't. Huh? Yes. Cast your cares yes, huh? on the man called Jesus, yes. huh? and he will yes. huh? work it out. Yes. Huh? I wish I had somebody this morning yeah. uh, who know what I'm talking about. Yes, uh, I remember uh, during the formative years uh, yes. in the schoolhouses, uh, we would pledge allegiance yeah. uh, to the flag uh, of the United States yes, uh, in which we live. Uh, yeah. and we would say our, our father prayer uh, yes. and we would go to work. Uh, yes. I remember uh, in the school uh, mm -hmm. that I went to, uh, we had a choir there. Uh, Teacher uh, would teach us how to sing uh, yeah. or a song uh, yeah. in the schoolhouse. Yes, I, I remember yeah. uh, one teacher, uh, music teacher, yeah. would look at us, uh, and if we wasn't singing uh, yeah. with the power of heaven, uh, she'd look at us and say, uh, you can't sing yeah. uh, and be pretty. Uh, if you're going to sing, you've got to be ugly, you've got to uh, yeah. gotta open uh, yeah. your mouth wide. Uh, yeah. I believe that's why uh, yeah. I can't sing today. Uh, I couldn't afford yeah. uh, to get any uglier uh, than I already am. Uh, but I remember uh, those formative years. Yeah. Uh, but I believe, uh, yeah. I believe, uh, yeah. we can, uh, and I believe we can make it uh, yeah. if we try. Uh, I don't have, uh, the, uh, all I have this morning uh, is a BA degree. Yes. Uh, you want to know what I'm talking yes. about. Uh, I want to let you know uh, I've been uh, yes. down to the river. Yeah. Uh, I want to let you know uh, I've been yeah. uh, I've been baptized. Uh, I want to let you know yeah. uh, my soul uh, has been converted uh, and I feel all right. Uh, I feel all right yeah. uh, when I got food on the table. Yes. Uh, I feel all right yeah. uh, when I got a brand new suit. Uh, yeah. I feel all right yeah. uh, when I can cool the house. Uh, yeah. I feel all right yeah. uh, in an old car. Uh, yeah. and I feel all right uh, yeah. in a new car. Uh, yeah. In other words, yeah. uh, I got Jesus. Yeah. Uh, I got Jesus. Yeah. Uh, and that's enough. Yeah. Uh, I feel all right. Yeah. Uh, I got uh, a 
I receive uh, from a born again uh, yes. degree uh, yes. down by the river, uh, down by the river uh, yes. of some old uh, yeah. Negro church uh, here in South Carolina. Uh, yeah. It didn't go on. Uh, I said it didn't go on. Yeah. Uh, all right this morning, uh, 147 uh, yes. uh, years later, uh, yeah. the same God uh, is answering our cry. Uh, yeah. The same God is yeah. uh, hearing uh, yes. our prayer this morning. Uh, that's why yes. uh, I can tell you, yes. uh, and I can tell you, yes. uh, I believe, yes. uh, I believe we can. Yes. Uh, it reminds me uh, of a little fairy tale uh, yes. about a little train uh, that thought it could. Uh, yes. The train said, uh, I think yes. uh, I can, yes. uh, I think I can. Yes. Uh, going up the hill, uh, yes. climbing, yes. Uh, going up the hill uh, is hard yes. uh, sometimes. Yes. Uh, to get to the top of the hill. Uh, Keep your eyes uh, on the top of the hill. Uh, keep on telling uh, yourself, uh, I think uh, I can. Uh, I think I can. Uh, God knows uh, that if you think you can, uh, keep climbing, uh, keep reaching uh, higher uh, and higher. Uh, I see the train uh, almost uh, top of the hill, uh, tired. Uh, Weary uh, and worn, yes. uh, but he had a thought uh, in his heart. Uh, I think, uh, I think I can. Uh, yes. In God, yes. all right. yes. in God, all right. Yes. He got to the top, uh, and he got uh, yes. finally got uh, Thank you. to the top. Uh, yes. You don't hear this morning, yes. uh, but he finally yes. uh, got to the top yes. uh, of the hill. Yes. Uh, I like the downside uh, on the other side yes. uh, of the hill. Uh, yes. He said. Uh, yes. Going down the hill, uh, picking up steam. Uh, I thought I could, uh, thought I could. Uh, oh, uh, Zion, uh, I'm here to tell you, uh, I believe, uh, I believe we can. Uh, Jesus, uh, Mary's baby, uh, will give us uh, everything uh, that we need uh, to make it uh, over the hill. Uh, everything uh, that we need uh, to make it home. Uh, you say, why? Uh, do you say that, yes. I say that because uh, they took Jesus, uh, Mary, baby, uh, and tried him uh, all night long, uh, put a crown uh, on his head, uh, put a robe uh, on his back, uh, a cross uh, on his shoulder, uh, to drag uh, that cross uh, out your nerve, uh, the God goes a hill, uh, we're going to nail you up uh, on the cross, uh, we're going to stretch you wide, uh, Hang your high, yeah. let the world uh, see how you died. Yes. Jesus uh, kept on uh, looking uh, to the hill uh, from whence cometh his help. Yes. Uh, in God, uh, all right. Yes. Uh, somebody said, uh, why uh, yeah. do you feel you can't uh, they crucify him uh, yes. on the old rugged cross? Yes. Uh, spare him uh, in his side. Yes. Uh, blood, uh, yes. water came down. Yes. Uh, somebody cried out. Uh, what, 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 what yeah. can make me yeah. whole again? Yeah. Stop by the table, yeah. nothing, yeah. nothing, yeah. but the blood yeah. of Jesus. Yeah. So they took him yeah. off the cross, yeah. put him yeah. in a cold grave. Yeah. Evils of the world said, we got him yeah. down in the grave. Yeah. God out, rejoice, yeah. the son is dead. Stop by the table. Give me uh, three days, uh, and we'll see uh, if the grave uh, can hold uh, his body down. Uh, I heard uh, early uh, one Sunday morning, uh, that boy, uh, Mary Bailey, uh, got up. Uh, don't you know, uh, he got up. Uh, I said he got up uh, out of the grave. Uh, all power. All power. All power. All power. Yes. Glory. I said, all power. Wow. I said, all power. power. In heaven yes. and in earth. Yes. And I believe I can. I know. I believe we can. Yes. Because if the Father lift him up out of the grave, yes. and if we live according to his will yes. and his way, he. though this world may slay us, mm -hmm. Though it may put us in a cold grave, yes, we will stay there until our Savior comes. Yes, sir. Paul said when 
He cracked the sky. And those who are sleeping in the grave. Yes, sir. Will be caught up with him in the sky. Yes. Yeah. Paul went on to say that those of us who are living until he comes <laughs> will be changed in the moment and the twinkling yes. of an eye. So then we also will be caught up with him, that is Jesus, yes, yes. in the sky. He said, and he wants us to know that, and we will go with him, yes. and we shall forever be with him. And we ought to comfort one another yes, yes. with these words. Amen. Thank you, Paul. I needed that. Amen. Yes. I believe, sisters and brothers, this morning, we can make it yes. if we let Jesus be the author yes. and the finisher of our faith. Yes. God bless you. This morning. Amen. At this point, we're going to have our choir going to lift us up for a moment here. And Deacon Singler is going to come yes. and lead us in a word of prayer. And as he pray, if there are those out there who have not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, we encourage you to get into the Word, find some church. And you can do that even in a time like this. Amen. Amen reach out to someone and just let them know that you feel sorry for the sins that you would die mm -hmm. and you want Jesus to take you in. Amen? And you shall be saved. Amen. Quiet. At this time, be safe. I don't know how yeah. Come on. God's gonna do it, and I don't know when. Yeah. When it's gonna fix it. Well, Lord, I only know it. Yeah. God's gonna make a way for me. I know He's gonna. You can help me say victory. I don't know how. How it's gonna do it. And I don't know
pray this morning, we ask that each member present yeah. to think about our siblings, yeah. our family members, yes. members in our community yeah. who are not under the ark of Satan. Yeah. Yes. That they come to Jesus while there's still time. Yes, Lord. We ask so God that they come to Jesus while the blood is still running warm. Yes, sir. In their veins. Amazing grace. Yes. How sweet the sound. Yes. That saved the wretch like me. Thank God. I once was lost, but now found the blind, but now I see. Yes, sir. It was your grace that brought me safe this morning. Yes, sir. Thank and your Lord. grace, oh God, yes. will lead me in. Father God, we come this morning just to say thank you. We thank you, oh God, for your abundance of mercy. And we thank you, oh God, for your abundance of grace. Yes, sir. We come, oh Father, thanking you for those patriots. Thank you. Who gave for 147 yes, years. Lord. Father God, we ask that Thank we you. continue in their footsteps. Yes, sir. As our pastor said, yes. the journey is not for the swift, but those who endure and hold out yes. until the perfect end. Perfect yes, Lord. God, we want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you, God, for Pastor Ferguson and his family. We thank you, God, for First Lady, we thank you, God, for this wonderful choir that we have. Yes, sir. Thank you. We thank you, God, for our deacon board. Yes. And we ask, oh God, that you will continue to bless us. Bless us, oh God, with the blessing you see we stand in. Yes. And God, we ask that you bless us individually. Yes. And you bless us collectively. Thank you, my God. Yes. God, we ask your blessing today. Thank you, Lord. Father God, we ask that you bless yes. all of the sick and shut in. Yes, sir. Those who are not able this morning to do for themselves. Mm, yeah. We ask, oh God, that you will put your love and protecting arms around them. You know you can and you know we will. Yes, sir. And Father God, this pandemic that we're dealing with, this virus. Yes. We ask, oh God, that you take it away and throw it into the sea of fun. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. God, we ask these blessings in your son Jesus' name this morning, we pray. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 sanctuary. Let's continue to lift up the name of the Lord. Amen. Yeah, amen. And the Lord can Please do celebrate. great things beyond our greatest imagination or our expectation. Mm -hmm. He can do those things for us. Amen. amen. But we must do, must lift up one another in prayer. Amen. And we must pray for ourselves as we prepare now to bring our service to a close and come down to our communion service. We'll have just a brief pause at the end of this message after we've given the benediction and we're going to come down turn our cameras around so that we can see what's going on uh, relative to our communion activity and those of you who are here i'm gonna just ask you wherever you feel comfortable go those places or come those places and we will uh, come to you with the uh, 
with the sacrament when we get to that point. Amen. Uh, to the choir, we want when we turn, we want one song, and then we're going to pull from that one song and finish everything out in the communion of service. Amen. Those who have been watching us online, streaming, we thank you for being a part of our service. Those who are at home, and if you have your communion um, sacraments and you wish to join us, just listen in, look at us if you can see us. And when we get to that point, let us all eat and drink together. Let's get a lot of hands, please. Is a powerful God, and uh, we cannot let go of the praises that God is due from us in spite of where we are. I was looking, it says somewhere about 1920, there was some uh, disease going around. And here we are in 2020, and struggling. And we will make it because they made it. I believe we can. Yes. Amen. 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 Uh, Mr. Choir, give us just a quick verse of song. We're going to end this, I mean, real quick, just short. And we're going to end this and coming down. Amen. I'm still trying to be brief, but I want to do everything that needs to be done. Amen. All stand. Let's be. Me and thee, while we're absent, one from the other, amen. God bless you.